Hello everyone. Uh, every now and then someone asks me about my setup and uh, my hardware, so I'm going to do a quick tour. And this is going to be very, very technical. So if you're not a, a technical person, you might get really bored with uh, all of the, the specs I'm going to tell you about. But uh, I guess we can start off with the obvious. Here we have Leona. Leona is, is brainless. Actually, no. Well, no, yeah, she is brainless, but not the way I made it sound. She's easy to play. You press a button, and or sometimes two buttons, and you win. So that that's pretty much it. Very important. And you can see here as well that I have a, a wide monitor. So these are very rare. They're very hard to get. There's only a limited amount that were ever made. And uh, you can see here that NASA discovered that if you just chop off the bottom and if you chop off the top, then you don't have to see black bars anymore. And uh, that's pretty cool, I think. It's pretty genius. But they didn't think about uh, sometimes you have video that is now wide video. So if they just chopped off the sides as well, then you would never have to see uh, black bars of any kind because you already chopped off the top and bottom ones. So if we just chop off the, the side black bars too, then you'll never see them again. So I think that's, that's pretty genius. I don't know why no one's ever thought of that. And you can see it, it's an LG monitor, American brand, very, very good. Everyone knows this. American is the best. It's got Hertz. It's got like 60 of them. And uh, the one problem I have with this monitor is that I'm afraid to turn it off. Because if I turn it off, sometimes it won't turn on again. And uh, yeah, but other than that, it's, it's a monitor. And... Uh, over here, I have like a, a a drawing monitor, and you can see this one is. People think it's it's a Huion, but it's actually H U I on. That's how it's pronounced. So it's a Chinese device, and uh, the Chinese are cool because they've discovered how to how to make higher quality stuff, but at one tenth the price. So that's pretty awesome. So if you have a Chinese friend in your class or at work, if you can just ask them how they do that, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, one time I dropped the pen for this display and it just broke, but I, I think I just got a bad batch because I, I think the Chinese stuff is usually pretty good and pretty awesome. So uh, over here, here we have a, a gamer mouse. Normally. I don't like gamer stuff because I'm not a gamer, so it, it's not ideal. But I needed a mouse with extra buttons, and this had some extra buttons. It even has a button on the side that's near impossible to press, which is amazing. And it has some holes here, so the dirt, instead of staying on top, it will go inside the mouse so you won't see it. So it looks like it's clean, but it's not. So that's pretty cool. And it also has some LEDs but they are secret. So it has them like over here. So you can only see them when you turn it around. So that's pretty great because you can surprise your friends and they might think that your mouse doesn't have uh, any lights, but then you turn it, turn it upside down and, and those light up. Well, not right now because I turned them off because they were useless, but you can surprise your friends like that. I think that's also pretty cool. And uh, over here I have a keyboard. Um, I really like this keyboard. When I bought it, uh, I would just wake up and just tap the keys while the computer was off because the keys are really, really, really smooth. And if this keyboard ever just breaks, I'm gonna buy one that's exactly like it. If you're wondering, this is, uh, this is an RGB keyboard. So if you wanna look it up, just look up RGB keyboard and you should find it. Usually that's enough. There's not a lot of RGB keyboards out there either. So just type in RGB and you'll find the keyboard. And uh, I have had some issues with it with some lights going out. And I didn't notice it because it's an RGB keyboard and uh, the lights that went out were a color I wasn't using. But when I switched to that color, I saw <laughs> a lot of keys that were wrong. 
this one for instance you see that it's like it's like orange in the video but really it's red and uh, this is actually set to white <laughs> but it shows up as red and so I tried to fix it myself and I think I damaged some traces because uh, like a whole row of lights went out and the some I one I actually fixed with help but I think I got an RGB light that was reversed because now I have to set it to the reverse colors to make it to match the, match the rest of the keyboard. It's just, it's an amazing keyboard. I really like it. Uh, it even has graphics, look. And this little GIF has been playing for so long that if I invert the colors of, a, it's like a little OLED display, you can see it burned in, which is awesome. So you can like have it you can see that graphic even when it's turned off, but I never turn it off because it's just too cool. But it's a great keyboard, just look up RGB keyboard. Uh, it's definitely my favorite. And uh, we have some speakers too. I've never been much of a headset guy, but uh, I really like these speakers because as you, if you can see, it has some screws. So if you ever want to unscrew anything, uh, you can do that right here, like if you ever just have the urge to screw or unscrew stuff, you can do that there. And uh, I guess let's move to uh, to the more important stuff, it's probably best to, to let's just set it to, to nap for a little bit. And I probably should have cleaned everything before I started this video, but that's okay. So over here we have the the PC computer unit as you can see and and it has like an, a little entryway for the dust this is where the dust can come in some uh, some cases don't have this feature but mine does so if you have dust this is where it can come in and it actually has a secret over here it, as you can see there's some USB ports behind there so if you don't want anyone to plug in stuff into your computer you can just pull this down and then they'll think that you don't have any USB ports. So that's pretty handy. And uh, over here we have a, a window. Let me open it up. So as you can see, this is a, a special window so that you can see outside if you're inside. And we have a lot of stuff in here as well. It's very complicated, so try to keep up. So I probably should have clean this before we did that but I wanted to keep it realistic so let's start off with let's start off with this as you can see we have two sticks sometimes they light up when you turn it on it lights up with all the colors of the rainbow and uh, some people only have one stick but I have two sticks which is a, a lot better. That's like twice the power. And uh, nobody has three sticks because that's just weird. And uh, only the president has four sticks, so. But two sticks is, is better, I think. And over here we also have like a, a liquid system for, for chilling. And uh, I don't think it has any water anymore because this is really, really old. And sometimes it makes noises, but, but there it is. And over here we have the latest and greatest uh, uh, green GTX. And uh, you can see because it has a green light, that's how you know. So it has a lot of gigs. Some, some GPUs only go up to like 10 gigs, but this one goes all the way up to 11. And, uh, and we also have under there is like the the watts that's where the watts come in and uh, yeah it's very powerful and uh, actually it's best not to touch because my house isn't grounded so sometimes when you touch uh, the metal you get a little zap it feels like an ant bite and that's what the dust actually helps for that because it insulates and uh, you know what I think it's better if we don't touch our PC computer at all because it's all metal and I don't want to get zapped so let's close it up and uh, oh wait before we close it there's one more thing here we have this little special door so if you ever want to squish your cables you can just like move it like that and now they're squished that's pretty neat too 
and uh, and let's close it. No zap. And over here we have our little turtle, Turtley. So she's been here for a very long time. She guards the power button so that no one knows where it is. And I think someone's been trying to eat her because sometimes she's like on the floor. But uh, then I just pick her up and put her back here where she belongs. And here is uh, Jax. No, uh, that's a different game. This is Shax. He's a big head. so. So that's why he's there. I think that's his tongue. I don't know what, why he's doing that. And uh, we have our antenna here. It sort of like fell off. I had it up there, but it fell. And um, yeah, that's where the Wi-Fi comes in. But but I actually plug in directly with special internet cable, so I don't use Wi-Fi. But there it is. And um, oh, I forgot over here. We have another little critter. This is a little bat. My dad got me this bat, but he would keep falling off. So I just stuck him there with uh, with some Velcro. And he's always looking after me. And it's actually pretty creepy, but, uh, but yeah, he's there. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but that is our ISP uh, modem router. And uh, that is not, that's how it normally is. I don't have a lot of respect for them, so when it fell down, I decided to just leave it there as a sign of protest, and that's been there for a very, very long time. But that's where the internet comes in. And uh, finally, my favorite part of this whole setup, I know it's been very technical so far, so hopefully you can forgive me, but my favorite part is this. You see this little curvature right here? This makes it very comfortable to lay my arms on the desk because I don't sit properly at the desk. I sort of just lay my arms on the border and and this is this is very comfortable. This allows me to to properly sit improperly if that makes sense. So I love it. That's my favorite feature. So I'm sorry if this was uh, like hard to keep up, but uh, if you have any questions uh, well, I'll be happy to answer them. So that that's my setup. Okay, bye.